but yeah. she wasn't officially a candidate because yeah. there's a very specific process by which parties are announced before the election and their candidates are identified. And that hadn't happened yet. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm the sure that the U.S. had already preordained her as the Guaido of Nicaragua, and they knew they were going to lose the election, and then they would proclaim Cristiano Chimoto as the pre as the president the U.S. acknowledges, and the European Union would go along with it. And guess what? The Sandinistas were smart enough to know that all these people, including Cristiano Chimoto, and all these heads of NGOs and other prominent people in Nicaragua had all been part of the coup in 2018. They had all accepted millions of dollars to destabilize Nicaragua. And they had a, they have quite an, quite a sophisticated intelligence network since the coup of 2018 caught them a little bit off guard. So they have really beefed up their uh, eyes and ears about uh, anything that looks like another coup attempt. And there definitely was a coup, going to be a coup uh, in the summer of this year before the election. But they also, they also were convicted, they were also charged with money laundering because they had received a lot of money from the NED and the USAID uh, for specific purposes that were in conflict with the stated purposes of for which that money was supposedly allocated. In other words, these NGOs were spending the money on destabilizing Nicaragua rather than teaching democracy to the students. <laughs>